Hi, my name is Ryan and today I just want to go over some information about this digital painting you see in progress as well as some other random bits of information I wanted to include because I feel like it. Alright, let's see what's happening here with the good old list. Introduction, say hi to the people, alright. Talk about script, okay. Random thoughts, and the conclusion. Alright, so where should we begin? So this particular sketch that I'm turning into a digital painting was for my friend Shradu. So we have Ame, a precocious ninja. The idea was for her to be seated while holding on to a precious treasure as you may see. In this particular piece, I learned a lot in particular with the hair. I took it as a chance to practice rendering the hair and the environment. I like to draw couches and such. I'm not sure about much else about her part of the story, but if you're interested in seeing more about it, you can feel free to visit his DeviantArt page and feel free to message and bug him about it in his DMs or something. He could really use the encouragement. He's a good guy. So what else do I have to go over? Well these days pertaining to this channel I just do what I feel like. But I am actually undergoing a transformation with it. I am taking the time to develop stories of my own, developing my own content and such. I'm also thinking of using another YouTube channel strictly for my my art, my speed paintings and such. I'll see how it goes. So let me see, what else is there to consider? So I'm trying to figure out a way how I can have a setup where I can record my pencil sketches and add them to the speed painting process just to speed them up the same way in the same way and kind of just put them together I think it would be a bit more insightful because I'm always just posting the sketches by themselves it's something I that that I've been considering but I'm not too sure how to go about it yet with the space that I have to work with Hmm. In other news, I did buy myself a new phone and it's a very particular one. It's the the Samsung Galaxy S9 Japanese version. So you're probably wondering one of two things. How is it different and how you managed to get a Japanese version in the first place? So to address the first point. The main difference is, you know how when you purchase a Samsung phone you normally see Samsung printed on the back somewhere? Well, with this version, you don't see Samsung, you see Galaxy. So I don't know if Ryan from the future wants to take the point this point in time and actually give a picture comparing what the back would look like normally versus what the back of his actually look like just to have it appear on the screen for the sake of comparison hello ryan of the past as a matter of fact i did just this you're welcome the other point though i'm not very familiar with this issue but i i have heard of the South Koreans and the, the Japanese having some sort of an issue with one another. I'm not sure if it's a cultural issue or if it's a general issue. It's just one of those weird things I've noticed. Or if it's even China and I'm just being a moron and I'm mixing it up. But I find it weird. 
because it's not the first time I'm seeing something like this. A product from South Korea being sold in Japan but their logo isn't exactly and it, it it's weird. So if anyone wishes to clarify that point uh, you can let me know in the description but I'm always calling it description in the comment section below I can be a moron sometimes but I'm curious when considering my artwork itself as nice as it may seem at times I make so many mistakes I have consistency issues not so much as it's with the art itself even though there is but more along the lines of my workflow shortcomings if you will as you know I use clip studio paint and if you're familiar with the artworks that I normally post on my my deviant art or my art station or even my Twitter page you may notice that there's been an inconsistency with the the resolution or the canvas size that's because I've kind of been winging it as I learn I normally stick with certain sizes but I'm kind of all over the place not as much as I used to be but it it's gotten to a point where it bothers me the issue I normally have with that is when I would use the default brushes or I'll dig up one and two free brushes online I had to do a piece the other day that was twice 4k in terms of canvas size at 300 dpi when I rendered that image it was 29 megabytes that's after rendering that's an insanely large image so I uh, think I need to step it down 7000 add at 300 dpi I must be a mad person yeah and with my next point I want to emphasize my over dependency on default brushes it's laziness more than anything else to be honest you, you open the program you probably don't have a lot of time to experiment with these but you still want to paint something you want it to look nice and you don't want to rush it too much so what you probably end up doing is just drawing on the few brushes you already have in the software what I plan to do on with on that matter is I I want to set aside some time where I'm not painting I'm just figuring out which brushes I want to use for my digital paintings because I've come to realize that this is something that's very important and I should really consider it if I ever want to be a more consistent digital painter and such and then I have a third point here on PNGs versus JPEGs JPEGs are easier to use but they, te they tend not to have as much bit depth as I would want and the PNGs I like to have my transparency but sometimes the files end up bigger and because of that I wouldn't be able to on discord for instance sometimes I get feedback from my colleagues on what they think about it and one and two criticisms I normally get is let me see sometimes the the proportions and the anatomy are a bit distorted which I continue continually work on that's fine but also sometimes me uploading the image itself I don't pay for nitro I'm just gonna put that out right there I don't pay for nitro any at all so I'm stuck with the 8 megabyte limitation so if you ever had a file that was 8.01 megabytes 
and it doesn't sin and you know you really don't want to step down the quality and I know what you're thinking but Ryan why don't you just upload it to this DeviantArt and just share the link from there well well no sometimes I want feedback on the image itself so I can correct it before I upload it instead of uploading it seeing the mistake and then fixing the mix mistake to actually edit the post and put the corrected image in it that's fine but that's extra work I, I don't want to do sometimes and that's about it really so these are just one and two thoughts I have in mind and things that I'm actually working on you'll hear from me more in the, the coming days the videos won't be as organized as I normally have them but this way I hope to put out more content and that's it so if you enjoy my little rambling here I normally don't ask for sub subs or or those things but a little subscription a one and two comments one and two comments in the description even if it's to say hi or it's to say but Ryan your videos aren't really that interesting well right now I know but I'm working on it I'm working on my insight so feel free to subscribe feel free to like the video and feel free to let me know what you think in the comment section below and as always I look forward to seeing you again real soon.